back everyone the iphone 11 and iphone 8 plus have been out for a few years now so let's go and see how they compare in 2022 now the iphone 11 came out in 2019 the iphone 8 plus came out in 2017 so a few different years between these, about two years between these two, but there's also been about three years since the iPhone 11 has been out and about five years since the iPhone 8 Plus has been out. So let's see how they compare in 2022. If you want to pick up these phones or some other ones I recommend this year, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there. You can help support the channel at the same time. Now you can definitely see side by side. There's a few differences between them for sure. The iPhone 8 Plus on the front has a 5.5 inch IPS panel, and I think it's a good looking screen. The main thing about the iPhone 8 Plus though is that even though it's a data design, has a lot more bezel, it does actually have a higher resolution display than the iPhone 11, which is actually pretty insane. You have Touch ID, which some people like me prefer, but you do have these big bezels. I'm not a fan of these ginormous bezels in my opinion, but it is kind of nice to have a phone with a higher resolution display that still has true tone. And I think the iPhone 11 display is pretty close to it too, but this is still a pretty good looking phone. It's not ugly, it's a little bit dated, but with the iPhone SE 3 still being sold by Apple, this design isn't severely old by any means. I, I think it is, but you know, you know what I mean. For a five year old phone, it doesn't look ugly. With the iPhone 11, on the other hand, this specific phone actually does have a 6.1 inch panel on the front. Now this is a pretty good screen for sure. I guess I have this random update that I'm going to have to go through, but this is a really good panel. And personally, I think with having a 6.1 inch panel like this, it still puts this iPhone in a really good spot of it having a pretty decent display. And I do think with something like the iPhone you know, 11, especially now in 2022, it does kind of have a pretty good screen. You know, it's not as great as something as an iPhone, you know, 13 Pro with 120 Hertz and all that, but still being in this type of situation still puts this iPhone in a pretty good spot and I still love this type of iPhone screen you know it's not perfect but it is pretty good and I think it the design is better than the iPhone 8 plus but the screen isn't necessarily better than the iPhone 8 plus in my opinion now in terms of thinness and thickness the iPhone 11 does actually have a little bit more thickness going on than the iPhone 8 plus now one thing that I've kind of stated for quite a few years now is that the iPhone 11 does actually have you know a pretty decent amount of you know thickness to it which is perfectly fine but the iPhone 8 plus is also a pretty thin phone and that's something that I've kind of seen for a few years now. The iPhone 8 Plus is a much thinner phone, one of the thinnest iPhones Apple has ever made. Now in the back we have glass backs on both. My glass back on the 8 Plus is completely cracked. We have lightning ports at the bottom, no headphone jacks in either one of these. We have dual camera setups on the back as well. And definitely when it comes down to the outside, I definitely do like the iPhone 11. This is a much more, I guess, newer designed phone than the iPhone 8 Plus, but I do kind of prefer something like the iPhone 11 overall than something like the iPhone 8 Plus in my opinion. Now another big thing to keep in mind is that the iPhone 11, although it's still updating right now, although this phone is newer and everything, one of the biggest things about the iPhone 11 and one of the biggest features of it over the iPhone 8 Plus is probably the software longevity. The iPhone 8 Plus is in a really good spot where it's going to be supported for several more years. It's probably going to be supported for probably another two years or so, maybe three years. So this phone is not going to be outdated tomorrow, but the iPhone 11 as of right now in my opinion, is in a really good spot. This phone is going to be supported for a much longer period of time than the iPhone 8 Plus. Because of that, you are going to be getting a longer lasting phone from something like an iPhone 11 than an iPhone 8 Plus. So because of that, it makes a lot more sense to go and buy something like an iPhone 8 Plus, like something like the iPhone 11, in my opinion, than something like an iPhone 8 Plus overall. Now this phone is not bad. Now the iPhone 8 Plus isn't bad, it's still going to be supported for some time, but that is definitely one thing to keep in mind as well. So that kind of covers it up there. Now I was going to go and do a speed comparison between both these phones, but it does look like the iPhone 11 is currently updating. But I will tell you from years and years of owning both of these phones, the iPhone 11 is still a very, very fast phone. I've had very few issues with it at all. You have the Apple A13 Bionic chip inside of here with four gigabytes of RAM. And what was really interesting about the iPhone 11 when it first came out was that it actually ended up having pretty much the same type of performance as something like the iPhone 11 Pro and the 11 Pro Max. In fact, there were a lot of times where the iPhone 11 was actually a faster phone than its competitors. And I'm going to be honest, even this phone, this was the last time we saw Apple give us the same amount of RAM and pretty much the same type of chipsets on all of our phones across the board. So even though the iPhone 11 technically had an older chipset and it wasn't, so even though the iPhone 11 may not have had the best looking display compared to its you know competitors or anything like that, I was still actually surprised to see the iPhone 11 performing that well compared to its competitors. And the fact that this was a $699 iPhone and it was beating the $1,000 and $1099 iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max, 
I was really happy with the way Apple went ahead and released this iPhone, and I still think in this day and age, it's one of the best things Apple has ever made, one of the best iPhones Apple has ever made. With the iPhone 8 Plus on the other hand, I think this is a tremendous iPhone still too. This is not a very outdated iPhone by any means, and I think this is still a really good performing device as well. Realistically, whenever I do anything with it, if I go and load up Temple Run 2, this is a basic game, but I've played tons of heavy intensive games on this you know, phone as well, including Genshin Impact and a ton of other big intensive games too, and this phone has been able to handle it. Now, it's definitely not the best performing phone, and that's the biggest thing to keep in mind. Compared to the iPhone 8 Plus to the iPhone 11, you aren't necessarily getting like that pitch perfect, like best performing phone of all time, but that's expected. With the iPhone 8 Plus, you were getting that Apple A11 bionic chip inside of it with 3 gigabytes of RAM. That is not a low amount of RAM to have. There's only 1 gig of RAM difference between these two. And really, even though the iPhone SE 3 now has 4 gigabytes of RAM, and this is still a pretty good performing phone in that sense. My biggest complaint though with the iPhone 8 Plus though, is with that home button. You have to constantly click in that home button, which can be kind of annoying. By the iPhone 11's, you know, gesture-based design, that ends up making this iPhone feel much more current and much more newer than something like an iPhone 8 Plus. For example, if I click, click on the Safari you know, browser, for example, I click the home button, I have to constantly wait for the home button to be registered, and it just kind of gets annoying here and there of clicking all these things in and out, and it, be, it can get kind of annoying. With the iPhone 11, on the other hand, we don't have to deal with that. We can just go ahead and use the gesture-based design, and it gives us a much better experience in my opinion. So. When it comes down to the performance, the iPhone 11 is definitely the better performing iPhone here, but I'm still happy with the iPhone 8 Plus's performance, and if you don't mind the lag, the glitchiness, and the home button, then I think it's totally okay. So, that kind of covers it up there, now let's go and hit on the cameras. Now these cameras are quite a bit of different as well between these two. The iPhone 11 has that dual camera setup, a wide and ultra wide sensor, the iPhone 8 Plus has a wide and telephoto lens. Both can do 4K at 60 on the back, which is great, but the iPhone 11 can do 4K at 60 on the front, which is really cool to see. The iPhone 8 Plus on the other hand, not so much, only 1080p on the front of that camera, which is still good, but you are getting a better camera setup on something like an iPhone 11 than from something like the iPhone 8 Plus. Now my iPhone 11 is still updating, but the iPhone 8 Plus's camera is still good. You know, I like the ability of zooming in a lot, and that's something I've kind of stated for many, many years now. The ultra-wide sensor is something I prefer much more, but the telephoto lenses are still pretty nice, and I do like having some sort of lens like this, you know, kind of hovering around, because it does give us kind of a little bit of a better experience overall. I will tell you though, with something like the iPhone 11, it is a much better camera overall. That ultra-wide sensor you're getting from this type of phone is really cool, and I do prefer an ultra-wide sensor over a telephoto lens, but I still say in this day and age, the iPhone 8 Plus's camera is much better than you would think, 4K 60 is still really nice, and you still have portrait mode and all those different options too. So, overall, the iPhone 11 is definitely the better camera, but the iPhone 8 Plus camera still is pretty good too. And now that kind of takes us to the end of the video. And to be completely honest, I think the iPhone 11 is definitely the better iPhone here. I think it really beats the iPhone 8 Plus in every single area, but I'm still happy with the iPhone 8 Plus. I think that iPhone still holds up fairly well, definitely not perfect, but it still kind of gets the job done. And I, for one, I'm still happy with the way, you know, Apple has, you know, created the iPhone 8 Plus and still supporting it. And even though the iPhone SE 3 is kind of a flop in so many different ways, it still kind of makes the iPhone 8 Plus seem like a much newer phone in a few different ways like that. So, although the iPhone 11 is the one I would recommend much more than the iPhone 8 Plus, I'm still pretty happy with the way the iPhone 8 Plus has been aging, and I still think this is a pretty good iPhone when it comes down to it. So, that's kind of how I would sum up both of these phones in 2022. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.